am standing next to Finn Cole. I mean, can you just describe the energy here right now? It is lit. How excited are you to be out of the house and on a red carpet? I'm so excited. I'm so excited. It's like, it's great to see some smiling faces. It's great to see some mask off action. Now we're all kind of doing it safely. So I'm, I'm so grateful to be out here celebrating with everyone. I'm so excited to see your character in this film. I love you and Peaky Blinders. What can you tell us about your character in this film? Um, I mean, I don't know what I can tell you. I think we're, uh, I can guarantee that we're going to have some, it's going to be, it's going to tell the story nicely. It's going to bring everything together in this movie and set us up for, for the, for the rest of the, this, this franchise and how it's going to be executed. So I'm super happy with what we did. We had a great crew to work with the kind of younger folks on the, on the, sh on the movie. And, uh, yeah, just so excited for everyone to see it. Especially your brothers, right? I think you have four brothers. I have four brothers, yes. How jealous were they that you were in a Fast and Furious movie? I don't know. I mean, uh, I think they were more concerned about my uh, my health and safety because there's a lot of dangerous stunts in this. But no, they're super stoked to, that, I'm, that I'm out here. I think they're just bummed they couldn't be here with me. That's a good point. Did you, does your character get to do any stunts? Can you tell us anything about that? Oh yeah, there's a little bit of driving, there's a little bit of fighting, there's a little bit of Fast and Furious type, type action going on. So there's, there's good stuff for you guys to look forward to. Whoa, that's insane. Walk me through the preparation process. Like how far in advance did you have to, you know, start learning all the fighting sequences and did you have to take any car lessons? Um, we we had a little bit of pre-production, getting involved, kind of figuring out how this how that stuff was going to play out. We did a lot of my stuff on film, which was really cool, as opposed to shooting it digitally like with the rest of the movie. So there was a few different aspects that made it more interesting and made it different to a different environment to work in. And uh, doing that with Justin and the team was was just a fantastic experience. And to see the size of this has been something that I'm really stoked about and stoked for everyone to see. Can you give us like a behind the scenes sort of favorite story? your memory from being on set like when when you think about being on set what's the first thing that pops into your head like what day um we had a great day at a track with some really cool cars flying around i don't want to give you any more than that because you will see it but um we had a really fantastic day at the track and it was uh with with the younger guys and a few other really good stunt guys and it was just a really epic day i was kind of nervous but but we got through it and i'm and i'm hoping everyone likes it did you get to interact with any of the main cast at all? Um, briefly, briefly, but um, no, I'm, I'm hoping to meet a few of them here tonight. I met a few of them on set, um, and of course I met John Cena and, and Vin, and um, they're awesome guys, and I'm so stoked to be able to kind of be in the same movie as them and, and work together. Yeah, tell me about talking to John Cena and Vin Diesel. Oh, they're just they're just ultimate pros. I mean, there's a reason why these guys are are doing movies like this, and, and it's nice to be able to try and follow in those footsteps and learn from these people and learn their decision making and, and learn how they uh, how they go about it. So um, so it was a fantastic learning experience for a young actor. I'm really, really, really grateful and very lucky. Who would you rather go head to head with? Cena or Vin Diesel? Or should I say Jacob Toretto or Dominic Toretto? Yeah. Which brother would you rather go head to head well, with? I, I'm pretty sure I've seen both of them punch a man through a wall. So I'm not sure that like, I wouldn't feel too confident going head to head, but uh, I'll take John Cena. Why not? <laughs> I love it. So did you did you get to since you didn't get to meet most of the cast, who are you most excited to meet here tonight? Uh, well, I'm a big fan of Natalie Emmanuel. She's she's fantastic. I'm a big fan of uh, I mean, I'm, I'm a big fan of all of this cast. So it'll be nice to socialize and see them and, and hang out and and have a drink and celebrate the movie. So there's so everyone, I think I've been a fan of the franchise for a very long time. So I'm so I'm a little bit of like a, a fan here, but also I also feel stoked to, to be involved. So cool. You know, Jordana Brewster is behind you. Have yeah. you said hi to her yet? I haven't said I haven't introduced myself, but I'll go and say hello in a second. I'm very excited. What are you going to say? I'm going to say, hello, I'm Finn, and I'm in the movie as well. That's what I'm going to say. Do you have a favorite Fast and Furious memory? You know, I was talking to Vinnie Bennett earlier, and I was like, a lot of us grew up with these films. You know, my friend remembers their first kiss after a film, you know? Yeah. Do you have a favorite memory? I, I was young when these movies first came out, but they were definitely one of, you know, the first Fast and Furious and, and the second and Tokyo Drift, which was Justin Lin's first uh, Fast, were were staple you know from my age group growing up in the uk so we so we spent you know we all watched them as kids and uh although it was a long time ago i was definitely stoked and excited by all the action which is my thing you know